Hello everyone, if welcome back. If you are new here, I am Shwinidhi V. Prabhu, first year medical student in Bangalore Medical College and Research Institute. In this video, I will talk, I will give you some tips regarding how to revise physics and how to score more in NEET examination. So watch till the end so you won't miss any of the important details. So while revising physics, you have to go through the formula list and understand the terms in the formula properly so that you won't confuse the formula and the terms in the examination and make mistake. And if you have time, you can even practice the derivation of the formula so that you can understand the concept better. Remember, while revising physics, you have to go through the solved examples in NCRT textbook. As most of the time, there uh, some questions will come from those questions. So if you focus there, you can easily score marks. And you have to focus on summary and points to ponder in the last page of each chapter. Because some theory based question will directly come from this. So please try to focus on summary, points to ponder and neat uh, NCRT solved examples. After you have solved a particular problem, you have to go through the solution they have been provided. And you have to recheck your method and to that of the solution provided. So that you can know where you can improve and how you can effectively solve a problem to save more time in examination. While going through each chapter, you can focus on the questions that you have marked as important. If you have done that, or you can solve previous year questions from that chapter so that you can get an idea of what type of question is coming from that chapter and how to approach them so that you can be able to uh, solve a particular problem faster. You have to constantly keep revising formulas and you have to solve as many problems as you can so that you can rem remind the formulas even better. As I told in my previous video, now is the time for you to pick up your calculation skills. You have to try to calculate some of the uh, small, small calculations in your mind so that you can solve a problem faster and save time. And you have to like avoid the mistakes that you are making, calculation mistakes or uh, your mistakes you are making while writing a formula like silly mistakes which you can avoid. Minimize them as much as you can so that there will be no more negative marking. Thank you for more updates. Subscribe to our channel and share it as much as you can so that it may reach the students who are in need for this video.